Hello everyone, right now we're near Santo Domingo. We're in the beach town of Boca Chica. Let's do what it do. So Boca Chica has an interesting history. It started off as a beach town for the elites here in the Dominican Republic. But then over time it morphed into a place that all social classes could enjoy. And here on Sundays I'm expecting to see a, a lot of people here. Now it's raining so I don't know maybe we might see less people but this is a popular place for Dominicans of all social classes to come and enjoy themselves and relax with each other. It's the presence of tourists with money that create the demand for industries that are not so desirable. But we'll get into that in a second. No. As with uh, other beachside places in the Caribbean, you can usually get some really, really good, fresh seafood. Um, if I see some seafood that's a good price, y'all know I'm going to get some. Let's, let's look at the beach real quick. If, if any of you are looking to stay in the Boca Chica area, there are hotels of different prices and so forth. I actually on Google Maps saw that there was a place that was only like $17 a night. I can't promise the quality, but I know it's here. Yo, what's good, brother? All right, all right. yo, what's up? Yeah. 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 See, Colombia, he, Venezuela. See, he likes the light skinned girls, huh? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful here, bro. Oh, down here? Okay, I'm gonna go and come over. Huh? Yeah. 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 There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of people enjoying themselves. My brother right here. Hey, how are you? Leonardo. Leonardo. How are you, brother? See, and you also have Ronaldo also here, trying to sell me uh, some of the delights of the area. So guys, due to the lack of industry and uh, the amount of population that's here, there is a prostitution problem here in Boca Chica. And it's not women, um, that are of age. A lot of the time it's women that are underage. There is a demand for it and there's a lack of opportunity here, so it happens. It's a little dark, but I feel like I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't mention it in this video. No, not that I'm an engineer or anything, but I'm really impressed with them being able to build so far out onto the beach and um, structures that are in good shape. Like they're not tilting, you don't see them leaning or anything. So I'm really impressed with that. If you look out at the beach here, there seems to be some sort of natural, like, protective reef, if you will. So I don't know if you guys can tell, right, but this water is waist high all the way out to the, the sandbars that are out there. Now, something I'm really certain of is if I buy anything here, I'm going to get the tourist price. I'm certain of that. You guys can't smell it, but there's a scent of fried fish in the air. It's nice. That's what I'm saying. Sorry. See. Yeah, 
that's a bachata. You guys know how to dance bachata? That's a three step step. Let's try the Dominican aphrodisiac, Mama Juana. So, a lot of men say that uh, Mama Juana is good for uh, strength. So, we'll see. Cheers, man. So, I'm here having a drink with my Dominican friends. We have Doña over here. We have my good friend, Lucio, right here. We got El Mano in the corner. No, no, no. He says no, no, no. We got these very, very fine ladies working here as well. It's a good time. I don't know what they're saying because in Spanish, it sounds like whatever they're saying is being shot out of a machine gun, but good. They're good people. The beach is beautiful here, it's just uh, that it's been constructed on all the way out to the point of it being underwater. You guys can call me sentimental or uh, soft or emotional, but uh, I definitely saw a young lady, she's pregnant and she was uh, in the water with her current child and I got a little misty eyed, can't front. Reminds me of childhood. Literally, whatever type of vibe you want here, you can find it. Yeah, a little salsa vibe, you want bachata vibe, you want Afrobeat. The Afrobeat sound lit. My parents would tell you, ever since a young age, I'd always like to experiment with food and drink. Now attach that same creativity to adult things. Things can get pretty fun. Right here we have Brugal soaked limoncillos. And this is what happens when the rum and the music clap at the same time. Guys, I always tell you, you have to exercise discretion when you come to places like this. Um, you can get whatever you want for a very, very low price, and because of that, you have to exercise discretion, okay? Don't do anything you wouldn't do at home. If you follow the channel for a long time, then you know that food is an important part of how we evaluate and experience culture. Right here, we have a sort of a stewed chicken with white rice on the side. Just for the hardcore foodies who are in here this isn't traditional dominican stewed chicken the flavor would be a little bit different on that and as always you'd eat it with dominican beans aka habichuela and together these things make up the national dish aka la bandera which means the flag for those of you who are not dominican and don't speak spanish i challenge you guys to go into a dominican restaurant and ask for la bandera dominicana you're gonna get a nice reaction out of them They'll either smile and give you an extra portion, or they'll smile and hit you with that machine gun Spanish. Potential street fight. Aww. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.